going on everybody welcome to the swing trader channel today we are going to be talking about tesla this stock has been running up really good the past couple months well in this video i'm going to go ahead and do my stock analysis on tesla and i'm going to tell you what i think is going to happen to the stock going into the near future so if you are new to my channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and like this video and let's get right into tesla If we're looking at total sales on Tesla, each year it has been increasing. And if I just scroll down here, you can see on total sales that on quarter four, 112,000. So looking at the bigger picture, pretty much every quarter they have been increasing, as you can see. And the way that I look at it, okay, 112,000 to make them profitable. So that means each quarter, they're gonna have to have that same number to keep retaining the profitability, I can't speak. But from the way it has been going, they should be able to keep increasing it. So let's not forget, Tesla just doesn't make electric cars. And yes, they have some really nice looking cars, but they just came out with a new pickup truck and they're also making tractor trailers. Now, I really like this a lot for the tractor trailers because if you know how many of them are on the road and how much pollution they're putting out, to have an electric tractor trailer would be very good for the environment. And if we want to see what Tesla is all about, their main mission is to accelerate the world's transition to sustainable energy. What that basically means is fossil fuels to get away from that. Because eventually we're going to end up running out of that. But the only thing I don't like about the tractor trailers is it is way overpriced. And if you look at these truck drivers on the road that are making, you know, like $110,000 a year or whatnot, they're not going to want to buy a Tesla truck that's going to cost them a fortune. So Tesla really needs to get that price down on that. So like I was saying, Tesla is just not into cars. So this stock is also involved in the spaceship stuff that Elon Musk is doing. I just wanted to get that out there because a lot of people think that the stock just has to do with the cars. The stock has to do with the whole company all in one, including the CEO, Elon Musk, which if he goes out there and does something crazy, the stock is just gonna go down or up very hard. But also you just think of other things like Deutschcoin, the cryptocurrency, he mentioned it and he was president for the day. And that cryptocurrency ran up just because he was president or CEO or whatever for the day in that cryptocurrency. And if you didn't already know about the track of Elon's Musk Tesla Roadster in outer space, I don't know what rock you've been living under and what kind of rodents are under there. But yeah, don't forget about this. He put a car in outer space. And the reason why I'm bringing this up because he has such imagination, which you need somebody in that position for if you're gonna be building rockets into outer space and spaceships and Star Wars and all that crap, you're gonna need somebody with a lot of imagination. And Elon Musk has a lot of that. All right, I got the 10 year two day pull up here on Tesla. And you can see I have this upward channel here where the stock broke out of it. So I basically think there's two reasons why Tesla ran up really good. Now, one thing you need to know about Tesla, this stock is shorted pretty good. It's right around 20% of being short. So with a good earnings report driving the stock up, you're going to get a lot of shorts getting out of their position. And if you don't know anything about shorting stocks, well, when the shorts have to get out of their position, they are actually buying Tesla stock when they do that which is gonna cause the stock to drive up even more because more shorts are buying it, basically at a higher price, which is driving the stock up. And what we like to call that is a short squeeze. So with Tesla stock being shorted heavily, and then they finally had a good earnings showing that they made profit, which helped drive the stock up. With the two combined, it just made the stock go absolutely ballistic. Now the question is for some of you, is it a good time to buy the stock? I would say no, it's not a good time to be buying Tesla right now, unless you wanna be down right off the bat. But I do have some scenarios here that could happen with this stock. We could see the stock pull down here to this trend line and then bounce off of that. And that could be anywhere around the 470s, 480 mark. But if we do see Tesla stock break this trend line, we could see it come back down to support level here at about 300 and probably say $60. So if I was planning on buying Tesla, I would wait to see what happens on this trend line right here. Because if it does break it, I think it will come back down to the 360 level. And if we do look down here at the RSI, just to get a little bit more information, to me, it looks like it is starting to go to the downward side, which it probably should because it's pretty oversold right now. So if you guys are new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and like this video. And you know what we try to do on this channel? Subscribe and let's make some money.